Hey, Raleigh Truthers. I received an email from a viewer on misconduct and a response. The viewer asked if I could take a look at the sanction letter he was sent and his appeal email and give my thoughts on the situation. Just to let you know, yes, I have blocked out any names, even though the parent does want to use his situation and experience to help others that might find themselves in this situation or a similar situations in the futures. Here goes nothing. or wondering if you can take a look at this and provide some guidance or feedback for me. This is involving the HOA here in Kansas City. Thank you. So here is the sanction. Last Saturday, you got into a physical altercation with a parent from another team. After reviewing the video footage of the incident, I have come to the conclusion that both parties lacked restraint in the incident and are to blame. We do not tolerate this kind of behavior the example you set for the players and other parties present at the facility is not what we stand for. You will not be allowed to attend any Heart of America hosted volleyball event for the remainder of the season. This includes the events that are hosted on January 14th, January 27th, February 3rd and 4th, and February 25th. If you violate this ban or you cause more issues at any time during the season, I have no other choice than to revoke your membership with Heart of America Volleyball indefinitely. Staff at the event will be informed that you are not allowed to attend. I accept that the incident was an exception and there will be no further issues. You have the right to appeal my decision per our due process, which is included in this notice. Sincerely, Bertel Wamalink, and which is the president of HOA. So here is the response of the parent. Dear Commissioner Madsen, I am respectfully requesting a review of the sanction I received. I deeply regret the part that I played in this incident and agree that this is not the example I should set for the youth of this program. I have a long history of both adult play and coaching youth volleyball in the Kansas City area and have never been involved in any sort of incident. While I understand there is no excuse for shoving the other parent, I would like to provide context to my actions. Also, I would like to point out that I reported this event to my club director even before HOA could get in touch with him. I haven't seen the video footage, but I am wondering if HOA even realized that this was the second time that this person confronted me. The other parent approached me, telling me not to walk where I would appear in the shot of the match he was recording. Despite what I felt was an unreasonable demand on his behalf, I believe I was staying out of his shot. He aggressively approached me again, invading my personal space. As I hope you saw on the video, he is a much larger and younger person. I am almost 60 years old. As his behavior was escalating, I honestly felt that he was going to punch me. I reactively pushed him away from me out of fear. I did not feel safe turning my back and walking away. However, since this incident, I have thought of ways to safely try de-escalating the situation that I wish I had come up with in the moment. I know that it is my responsibility to control my fear and my actions. I have literally never had a physical altercation like this before and I didn't react appropriately. I have learned from this experience and will avoid anything like it in the future. I hope that you can understand that I was coming from a place of fear for my physical safety, along with the full acknowledgement that my actions were still inappropriate and with my absolute promise to never engage in this kind of incident again. Please reconsider and issue me a warning at a probationary period for the rest of the season instead of a ban. As team parent for my son's team, I have made it a point to counsel incoming parents on avoiding exactly this sort of trouble. I already have plans for our next team meeting to address this incident and make it a learning experience for the parents, coaches, and players. However, I fear that should this ban remain in place, I will be unable to perform my duties as team parent and due to my wife's health, she will be unable to get our son to tournaments in my stead. Due to my history of youth coaching and the positive impacts I have had on many players, a number of parents have felt compelled to write letters of support. I am including them 
as a part of my appeal, I am truly touched by the sentiments expressed by these parents. If nothing else, it has been heartwarming to see these genuine expressions of that know me the best. Here are my thoughts. First off, thanks for reaching out. Let me start by saying the HOA and other regions are cracking down on this type of behavior. And unfortunately, you might be just the guinea pig they need to send this message home to other parents and spectators that might find themselves in a situation like this. The truth is the appeal was well written and articulates a great point as to who started this fiasco. But in the end, because you engaged, not that you were right or wrong, again, I have not seen the footage. Does make you punishable as well though. It could very well be that the footage is from one standpoint versus the other with nothing really being conclusive as to who was actually at fault. Two sides to every story is the theory, right? No matter whomever started the fight, both parties will be punished for the role that they actually played in it. Now, looking at the HOA letter, they are banning you from only HOA events. That's for local tournaments for the remainder of the season. They do not plan on punishing it after this season. My suggestion, write it out give the parental duties over to another parent for those few games you cannot attend. They might enjoy them and stay on for the remainder of the season. Who knows? Make sure you continue to participate in all of your son's practices. If they are open practices, if you are unable to take him due to your wife's illness, parents and families understand this. Shoot, some have written letters already on your behalf so that you should be good there. So find a player's parent that lives in your area that's willing to help. In the meantime, make the best out of all the tournaments that are not HOA tournaments for the remainder of the season. The season goes by super fast. You have done all that you can do. You've reached out to the club. You've spoken with the club coach spoken with the parents on the team, reached out to HOA itself, and you've also apologized for what transpired, which seemed rather sincere. Now you're in appeal stage. There's really nothing left to do but wait on the appeal response, then move on. This too shall pass. So keep your head up watch the HOA attorneys from home, have a parent live stream them from Facebook and get ready for those non HOA tournaments. I wish you the best of luck with this matter and the rest of the season. Take care of your wife and your son. Make sure to tell her we send our thoughts and prayers towards a speedy recovery. It is rough out here in these volleyball streets. So until next time, remember, play like you're going to be subbed out. That's all for now, but if you like the content, leave a comment below, spike the like button, and subscribe to my channel.